Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So at the beginning of June this year, I posted a video letting you know that if you are using Firefox, that Mozilla will enable the translate feature in Firefox version 115, which is actually a long-awaited feature. Now, I'll leave a link to that video down below. But as many of you will know, the stable version of Firefox um, by default does not have a translate feature. And this feature started rolling out in Firefox version 115, but as yet has not made its way to all regions uh, globally. So as I mentioned in that video, you could use an experimental flag to enable the translate feature. And by default, though, the stable version of Firefox, which is currently sitting on version 116, still has not, in my region, received any translate feature. Um, I cannot translate this web page without using um, third-party extensions and so on, as many of you may know. Now, if you still are not seeing the translate feature, just to let you know that um, late tomorrow, uh, the 29th of August, a Tuesday, um, Mozilla is going to release Firefox version 117, which will be our latest stable release of the browser. As mentioned, we are currently on version 116. And this highly requested feature, um, translation, uh, according to um, Mozilla, is possibly going to be added into version 117. And this is also going to bring native translate to the browser which uh, in a nutshell doesn't require a server-side connection and um, has the ability to work online and also offline. And as many of you may know who do maybe use translate features in other browsers like Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, uh, when you translate um, in those browsers, um, obviously your data then regarding that translation is sent to uh, the Google and or Microsoft servers, depending on which browser you're using. And obviously, that is a bit of a privacy concern. Now, this is where the native translate feature in Firefox is going to be different because um, it's not going to um, make any connections to servers, remote servers, when translating content with this new native translate that um, is possibly going to start rolling out and, and becoming more widely available with version 117. Uh, tomorrow on the 29th of August, as mentioned. Now, um, this feature is going to be on a controlled rollout um, because, as mentioned, when I posted that video uh, back in the beginning of June, it should have rolled out, started rolling out with version 115, and as mentioned, not available as yet, even in version 116 in my region. And uh, um, According to Mozilla, though, uh, Firefox, the translations should be enabled for all users using the browser from version 118, which will not be the next version, stable version, but the following stable version, which is currently still in preview. Now, the good news, once again, is if you want to enable um, the translate feature, the native translate feature, currently in the stable version of Firefox version 116, before it rolls out possibly with version 117 tomorrow or version 118 in the next month or so, then it's quite easy to do so. And we use the same, we use the exact same flag we used in the previous video, but just to let you know that there's more functionality now also been added with this native translate feature when um because when I posted back in June, it was quite basic in its functionality. So as always, to uh, enable flags in Firefox, we have to head to about config. And to do this, we just head to our address bar, enter about colon config. So that's about colon config. And just accept the risk and continue as always. And then in the search, just enter this flag. Um, it's called browser.translations.enable. I'll leave that down below so you can just copy and paste it in. And here's the value, which is set to false by default. And once again, we head to the right-hand side, click on the toggle, and that will change that from that value from false to true. And then as always, what I suggest after you've changed that value, close Firefox and then relaunch the browser just to make double sure that that, um, that flag has been applied. And now to just uh, demonstrate for the purpose of today's video, um, if we head back to uh, Wikipedia and we just click on the German version, you can see now by, um, by default now, when that feature is enabled, it automatically shows you translate from German to English. And 
we have a couple of options available on this this page we've got the gear icon at the top which will take us directly to the translate feature now in the settings and then we can translate from and we've got those different languages or we can translate to and we've now got a choice of those different languages and at this stage it's quite basic still when it's uh, when it's offering you the amount of languages but this could be set to change in the future where more languages will be added in the future now to get to the translate feature um, we just click on the uh, settings the gear icon and yeah you can see you get always translate german never translate never translate the site so you've got some options and then if you click on manage languages it takes you directly over to the translations and yeah you can actually download the offline um, languages which means um, if you want to translate to and from these languages it will give you the option to translate um, if you are not using an internet connection or don't have access to wi-fi or the internet you can also download these language packs and that means that you'll be you will have that offline functionality which i think is a nice move in the right direction and over and above that if we just head back to the website and we translate that from german to english just to demonstrate give that a second or two and there we go uh, it has translated that from german to english and as mentioned you've got those different languages and um, which obviously if you don't uh, download the offline installer it will use the online uh, language but if you do download the offline installer as mentioned you will have access to being able to translate natively in the web browser which is a highly requested feature even if you are offline but just letting you know about that because that translate feature now can be enabled in the stable version and as i mentioned should be coming more widely available with the rollout of firefox version 117 tomorrow on the 29th of august so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one